Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to your general reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well, feeling safe, and feeling blessed because you are. So just a few announcements. As many of you may already know, we now have a channels membership here on YouTube. And if you're interested in joining the membership, the link will be in the description box. The membership is cool because by joining it, you'll get access to all of the extended and exclusive readings. Second announcement, I will be doing private phone call tarot readings today. So if you're interested, I'll leave all that info in the description box as well. Let's go ahead and get started on your reading. Please remember to use discernment always in order to take what resonates and leave what does not. Know that the cards represents energies that any gender can embody. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. Let's see here. You have the Four of Wands. What is the message for someone out there? You have the Lovers. You have the Five of Wands. Mm. You have the Ten of Cups. Oh boy. Um, seven of wands, seven of cups. Yeah, someone feels there could be a fight over one person, like two people fighting over one person. Seven of cups, seven of wands. Let me see here. Tell us more about this message. Everything is fine. Good. The star. Yeah, one person is very calm because they're getting their wish fulfillment. They are most likely going to get to be with this with their their love interests. The other person is the one who's being left behind. Yeah, Eight of Wands, let me see here, King of Swords, yeah, it could be the King of Swords who's being left behind, it is, Eight of Cups, and he's not happy, he is not happy at all, he's a King of Swords, King of Swords is very direct, very blunt and to the point, they're very intelligent people, but you know, King of Swords can have a difficult time in relationships because he's not as emotionally expressive. He's not the lovey-dovey kind. He can be quite detached and distant. And that could have been what, what caused the ending. It looks like with the Eight of Wands, fast action, fast communication. I do see this man taking action to move things. Yeah, he wants to move things forward with his lover, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters, moving things from rough waters to calmer waters. It looks like he's taking action at the very last minute to get her to stay, um, smooth things out with her. She's showing up as a two of pentacles. She is juggling two people. She is with him, but she has a future lover. If she does move on, there is a new man here that she will meet. Um, and she's aware of that. He's trying to calm things out, you know, between the two of them, especially the Knight of Cups being someone who's kind, warm, and inviting. Um, there's gestures. There's gestures that he's making that he typically wouldn't and it's because this connection is coming to an end the tower yeah tower is a sudden ending and the three of swords heartbreak and the separation this man is he's shook okay it's shaking him up, this ending here. He still can't believe it's happening. Um, this could have been someone who never really processed their feelings 
for their lover. There's something here that he was doing that wasn't healthy, maybe suppressing his feelings all along. And now that she's leaving, there's that rush of emotions that's that's finally hitting him because he was suppressing it all along. Yeah, look, he was suppressing it. He was with he was holding back with the page of swords and it delayed the connection big time. Yeah, the devil, he's yeah, suppression. The devil and the two of swords. First of all, the two of swords is indecision. Someone who's calling a truce and not wanting to to make a decision. The devil is a stronghold. Like this is someone who just was, they were too much in their head in this connection. I don't see them really being an active participant in this relationship. They were too busy being cold, distant, and overthinking. Yeah. And now that it's ending, all of those emotions um, you know, over the years or over the months, I don't know how long they were together, but all of those emotions that were being suppressed over the years, over the months, it's finally rushing, you know, um, and, it, and it's, it's hitting him really, really, really hard. And I feel like he just, he, he doesn't know what to say, but he knows what to do. I feel like a part of what he's doing is trying to calm her down trying to make these kind gestures or romantic gestures. Um, like not trying to make her mad. He's trying to be on his best behavior, his good behavior. Let me see, four of pentacles. I don't think she's even really noticing any of this that he's doing, any of what he's doing because four of pentacles is someone who's guarded. Yeah, she's guarded with the four of pentacles, yeah. She's guarded and she's just really thinking about the ending, the death. Death, the ending to the connection. Yeah, I don't think he's, I don't think she's really noticing the changes that he's suddenly making. I think she's just focused on the ending of this connection. Is he gonna stand his ground? It does look like he is. The Seven of Cups. Especially Seven of Wands is a standard ground card. Looks like he's thinking about what he can do. Four of Wands, that's the relationship. That's the connection between the two of them. Can it be redeemed? Can it be redeemed? You know, the lovers, a soulmate connection. Wow. There was a, there, you know, there was... Um, there was absolutely um, a connection here. There was a soulmate bond here. Can't deny that. But was it really nurtured? Was the connection really nurtured, nourished, so that it could grow, so that it can be strong, so that it can be long-lasting? I don't think it was... I don't feel like this King of Swords really took advantage of the connection. I don't. So clarify this, clarify the lovers, clarify the lovers. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The magician. Well, hmm. everything that's happening is just. There's no injustice here. The justice is karmic justice. You get what you deserve. Even the wheel of fortune. Okay? It's a karmic wheel. What goes around comes back around. Everything that's happening is just. It is fair. It is balanced. Nobody's getting cheated here. Um, and the magician is manifestation, of course, but it's willpower. Okay? Everyone involved is having to take accountability for their actions. The people who, who took good action, they get good karma. If they took bad action, they get bad karma. What goes around comes back around. What goes up must come down. So the universe is going to make sure that everything happens fairly here. Okay. 
Now, the five of wands, drama, chaos, conflict, competition, the hermit. Clarify the five of wands. Three of wands. Clarify the five of wands. Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. There's something about this where As this drama is going on, I feel like she's like staying calm. I feel like the feminine here isn't really in this drama. It's about her, but she's not a participant. It looks like with the hermit, she's just staying to herself. She's in that hermit energy. She's staying to herself, the three of wands. I feel like she's even daydreaming a bit about what the future holds. She's headed somewhere. She's looking towards the future. She's looking ahead. And the Six of Pentacles, she feels like it's going to be much better. Okay? She feels like if she moves on, it's going to be more equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles. And that she's going to be more happy with the Nine of Cups representing fulfillment. It looks like this feminine is blocking out the drama. But what is the drama about? Let me see. I feel like it's the drama from the King of, uh, King of Swords. Yeah, it's... It's drama from the King of Swords. His feminine energy is showing up because he already came out as a King of Swords. So his feminine energy is out as a Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's drama that the King of Swords is causing, but she's not participating in it. She could even be blocking it out. Five of Wands. Everything is fine. Yeah, she's just, it's like she's telling herself, everything's fine. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. You know, let me just move away from this. Yeah, strength, overcoming difficulties. She shouldn't worry. She, she shouldn't worry. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Despite the conflict and chaos that the King of Swords is trying to cause. Um... Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I just see her telling herself that. Four of Swords, heavy contemplation. What is it that he's doing to cause this conflict to the Five of Wands? Because it really looks like she's trying to not be a part of it. What is, what is it that he's doing? The Fool card is here. He could be getting other people involved. Hmm. Ten of Wands. The Fool. Why do I feel like, hold on, what is he doing with the five of wands? What is he doing to cause this five of wands here? This conflict and chaos, queen of wands. The thing is, he may not be directing his anger to her. He could be directing his anger to another person. Yeah, like I, I feel like he's he's directing his anger to other people, but not necessarily her. Yeah, it's other people. Three of Pentacles. It's like he's getting he's yeah, he's lashing out on others, on other people. Three of Pentacles is working together. Maybe there are other people around, he's lashing out on them. And maybe he's even trying to convince them to make her happy for him on his behalf. Six of Cups. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's the it's other people around them who he's really taking his anger out on. Hmm. Like go and make her happy. Go and tell her this. Go and convince her to stay. You know, that kind of stuff. Um the fool, the ten of wands. Queen of wands. Look, this woman's moving on. The fool, she's taking a risk. She's taking this leap of faith. As much as it's burdensome for her with the Ten of Wands, like he can try to make things difficult for her to leave. She's going to carry the burden and still go. She's still pushing forward. Ace of Cups, this new beginning. And there she is, Queen of Wands. Um, is it is it her or is it someone? Wait, is she the Queen of Wands? Knight of Swords, I don't know. Or is this another, is this an outsider? Because it feels like he's getting outsiders to help him. It feels like she's getting, he's getting outsiders. Five of Cups, regret, crying over spilled milk. Oh, I, I think I see what it is. He could be, there's outsiders involved here. He could be telling them to like make it difficult for her to leave. With the Fool, the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, it's like they know that she's trying to leave. They know that she's trying to leave. They know. And there's a Queen of Wands here, which I don't feel is, is her. Queen of Wands is someone else who doesn't have a problem with causing drama and conflict. And will make things very hard for her to go, for her to leave. The Knight of Swords, it's another feminine energy, this Queen of Swords. Knight of Swords are people who can be aggressive, military-like. There's a Queen of Wands who's on the lookout to try to mess up her plans to of moving on. I do wonder if this woman is trying to like relocate. Like, is she trying to move out if they live together or live near each other? Um, yeah, Queen of Wands is bad. This this feminine, this is a woman here who's like, I'm gonna try to mess her up when she when she tries to go so that she won't leave. They're all connected to a ten of pentacles, like a building or a nice area. I don't think they can I don't think they can stop her really. I don't think they can stop her. If she really wants to go, she can go. Um she's gonna go. <laughs> she's the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is someone who is like moving, relocating, immigrating. It's a big action card, Knight of Wands. Yeah, she's. it looks like she's moving away. Like taking her things and leaving with all of these wands. Especially Page of Wands could be a, a location, a new location card. And Six of Wands is victory. Yeah. She's going to... <laughs> The sun, happiness, fulfillment, growth, expansion, she's got to go. I don't care what these people think they're trying to do. Um, let me see. Ten of Cups is here. The most they can do is make things difficult for her. That's the most that they can do, but they can't hold her back. Let me see. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Two of Wands, carrying out a plan. Yep, yep, this is her confirmation to go. This is her confirmation, carry out a plan, get a sense of, a clear sense of direction. Ace of Swords is a yes card to go. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles is her. This woman has a lot of um, great fortune here that's connected to her. Nine of Pentacles is someone who's very independent and successful.
Mm -hmm. She is. She works very hard. Seven of Pentacles. She works very hard. She's committed. She's persistent. The Seven of Pentacles is seeing the bearing the fruits of your labor. Seeing the, the successful outcome of your hard work. Yeah, this woman is very, very abundant with the King of Pentacles here. She works very hard. Um, and she's very independent. She really doesn't need him. And I think that's a, one of the things that really is killing him. She's not codependent on him at all. Yeah, judgment. Eight of Swords. Wow. He is... I don't know. This man, I mean, this King of Swords, Eight of Swords, he's in a mental prison, overthinking. He just, I don't know what he's going to do. Um, King of Cups, yeah, he's overwhelmed. He's very emotional, but he's not going to show it. He's showing up as a King of Cups. He's very emotional. But is he going to say anything or is he just going to get get outsiders to try to manipulate her? You know, like, is he just going to be a man about it and ten, uh, temperance? Yeah, he just likes to be very composed. He likes to stay composed at all times. Um, he doesn't like to show emotions at all. Yeah, he's the emperor. The emperor, you'll rarely see the emperor out of character. Very, very composed. So I don't think he's going to say anything. I, but I do feel like he's going to be in the background trying to sabotage her from going. Seven of Swords. But I don't feel like he's going to directly say anything to her. Nope. He's just going to keep on hiding his feelings and watch her go. Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups. Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. What a waste of her time. Okay. I'm I'm if you ask me, I'm happy that she's going. I feel like she deserves better. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end the reading here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the message and if you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. Um and yeah, if you're interested in connecting with me more, all of my info will be in the description box. Take care everyone and many blessings to you.